The enigmatic tale of Dwarka, often heralded as the lost city of Krishna from the Mahabharata, begins with a blend of myth and reality, where ancient texts and modern excavations intertwine to reveal a civilization that once thrived and then mysteriously disappeared beneath the sea. It is the continuous flooding of this coastline, and the science tells us that we're here inland to what was once an enormous antediluvian domain, extending more than 50 kilometers out to sea. The archaeological surveys here haven't even begun to test the myth. 100% man-made. What on earth is it? It may be the base for a column. Dwarka was a beautiful city. It was on the coast, and it was the home base of the god we know as Krishna. The journey into the heart of this legend takes us through a labyrinth of historical and mythological narratives, each shedding light on the grandeur and mystery of this ancient city. The story of Dwarka is deeply intertwined with the narratives of Hindu mythology, particularly with the life and times of Lord Krishna, one of Hinduism's most revered and enigmatic deities. The creation of Dwarka is a tale of celestial engineering and divine will. Believed to be located on the western tip of the Indian subcontinent, the city, constructed under the direction of Vishwakarma, the divine architect, was a marvel of palatial buildings made of gold, streets lined with precious stones, and gardens adorned with celestial trees. The city was not only an epitome of material wealth and beauty, but also a fortress impregnable to any external threats. Dwarka was more than just the physical manifestation of a city. It represented a utopian society where righteousness, truth, and dharma reigned supreme. Under Krishna's rule, it became a center of spiritual and cultural learning, attracting sages, scholars, and devotees from far and wide. The mythology of Dwarka reaches its climactic end following the departure of Krishna from the world. It is said that after Krishna left his earthly abode, the city he so lovingly created faced a series of catastrophic events. Massive floods engulfed the city, and within a matter of days, the glorious Dwarka submerged into the sea, leaving behind only traces and memories in the sacred texts. But is there truth to all those tales and legends of this sophisticated ancient metropolis? Did it indeed exist, bridging the gap between mythology and history? Or is it merely a figment of collective imagination, a symbol of cultural aspiration? For centuries, the story of Dwarka was confined to the pages of sacred texts like the Mahabharata and the Puranas, However, the turning point came in the 20th century when marine archaeologists and historians began to investigate the possibility that this mythological city could have a basis in reality. Dr. Shikari Pura Ranganatha Rao, an eminent Indian archaeologist, was so fascinated by the story of Dwarka that he dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of this legendary city. His quest began in the city of Bet Dwarka, an island facing the Gulf of Kutch, which set the stage for a series of remarkable discoveries. Bet Dwarka, initially thought to be the site of the mythical Dwarka, revealed incredible layers of history buried deep beneath its surface. Dr. Rao's excavations uncovered evidence suggesting that the city's foundations were thousands of years old. The presence of six distinct layers of urban settlement indicated a continuous process of rebuilding and resettlement, signifying the city's ancient and enduring nature. This initial finding hinted at the possible existence of a much older, grander city, perhaps the Dwarka of Krishna from the Mahabharata. Yet the legend of Dwarka spoke of a city lost beneath the ocean, this led Dr. Rao to turn his gaze to the waters surrounding Bet Dwarka. His underwater expeditions uncovered something remarkable. There were the remnants of a bygone civilization, 
a civilization that perhaps once thrived in splendor and grandeur beneath the waves. Stone structures and artifacts lay silent on the ocean floor, holding within them secrets of a forgotten city that once might have rivaled the greatest of its time. The plot thickened as Dr. Rao ventured into the Bay of Cambay, where beneath 120 feet of water lay ruins vast enough to shadow modern-day Manhattan. These submerged secrets hinted at a city so ancient that it could have witnessed the world in a time unrecorded by history. Speculations arose that this sunken metropolis might even be traced back to the Younger Dryas period, around 12,500 years ago. This would make Dwarka one of the oldest known submerged cities in the world. Dr. Rao's discovery of Dwarka challenged the long-held beliefs about the chronology of human advancement, hinting at a civilization that predated known history. His discoveries ignited a spark in the archaeological community, a spark that continues to fuel the quest for understanding our ancestors' profound and mysterious past. The significance of these findings was monumental. As divers descend into the depths, they are greeted by a surreal landscape of ancient structures. The most striking feature of these ruins is the massive, well-organized layout suggesting an advanced understanding of urban planning and architectural design. The city revealed a network of roads and pathways lined with what were once buildings, marketplaces, and temples. The construction techniques used in Dwarka spoke volumes about the ingenuity and skill of its builders. The structures were predominantly made of stone, specifically large blocks of sandstone and limestone. These stones were expertly cut and fitted together, a technique evident in the precise angles and interlocking joints of the blocks. The absence of mortar in these constructions suggests a mastery of dry stone masonry, a method that relies on the precise cutting and weighing of stones to ensure stability and endurance. Among the ruins, one can find the remnants of what might have been grand palaces and public buildings. These edifices showcase intricate carvings and sculptures, some still discernible despite centuries underwater. The carvings depicted scenes from Hindu mythology, floral patterns, and geometric designs, each a silent narrative of the city's past glory. The underwater city also reveals evidence of sophisticated water management systems. There were remnants of what appeared to be reservoirs, wells, and channels, indicating a complex system for collecting and distributing water. This system would have been crucial for a city located near the coast, particularly for managing fresh water and ensuring its availability for the city's inhabitants. Moreover, the discovery of what seems to be a harbor or dock area points to Duarca's significance as a maritime center. The presence of anchor stones and structures resembling jetties and docks suggests that the city was a bustling port engaging in trade and commerce with other civilizations. These maritime structures, built with the same precision and skill as the city's buildings, underscore the advanced engineering capabilities of the people of Dwarka. As archaeologists and historians continue to explore and study the underwater ruins of Dwarka, they uncovered more layers of this ancient city's story. The materials used, the construction techniques, and the architectural designs all point to a civilization that was extremely advanced for its time. Scholars and researchers have posited that such advanced construction techniques indicate a deep understanding of geometry, physics, and material science, far beyond what was previously attributed to ancient civilizations in this region. Many theories and hypotheses arose, attempting to unravel the mystery of Dwarka's submersion and the cataclysmic events that might have led to its downfall. 
Like we mentioned earlier, according to Hindu mythology, the city of Dwarka was built by divine intervention and was later submerged following a series of catastrophic events closely associated with the departure of Lord Krishna. Geological theories attempt to provide a scientific explanation for Dwarka's submersion. One prominent hypothesis is that the city was a victim of rising sea levels, possibly linked to the melting of glaciers at the end of the last ice age. This period, known as the Younger Dryas, saw significant climatic shifts that could have led to the inundation of coastal areas. The submergence of Dwarka could thus be a consequence of these natural climatic changes aligning with the timeline suggested by underwater archaeological findings. Another theory posits that tectonic activity, such as earthquakes or subsidence, played a key role in the city's downfall. The region where Dwarka is located is seismically active, and it is plausible that seismic events could have led to the city sinking. Geological records and sediment analyses from the area provide some evidence of seismic activity that could correlate with the timeline of Dwarka's submersion. The hypothesis of a cataclysm, possibly a tsunami, has also been suggested as a cause for Dwarka's demise. Tsunamis, triggered by underwater earthquakes or other seismic events, have the potential to cause widespread destruction, especially in coastal cities like Dwarka. Such a disaster could have engulfed a city, leaving behind the submerged ruins that we find today. These scientific theories are further enriched by the exploration of the mythological and historical context surrounding Dwarka. The city, as described in ancient texts, was not just a physical entity, but a symbol of divine and cosmic order. Its submersion is often interpreted as a metaphor for the transient nature of human achievements and the inevitable cycle of creation and destruction that governs the universe. Dwarka, according to mythological accounts, was not just a center of cultural and economic significance, but also a pivotal player in the ancient warfare narratives of India. The descriptions of Dwarka as an immense fortress in these texts often blend the mystical with the martial, suggesting a city that was as spiritually significant as it was strategically formidable. One of the most compelling aspects of Dwarka's connection to ancient warfare is the possibility of advanced weaponry and military technology. The Mahabharata and other Vedic texts describe weapons and battle tactics that, while often attributed to divine or mystical sources, hint at a sophisticated understanding of military science. These descriptions include references to aerial vehicles called Vimanas, powerful explosives, and advanced weapons of mass destruction, which, if taken as more than mere allegory, suggest a society with a highly developed military-industrial complex. The theories about Dwarka's advanced military technologies also touch upon the broader question of ancient Indian science and technology. The Vedic texts, which include not only mythological narratives, but also treatises on mathematics, astronomy, and physics, offer a glimpse into the scientific knowledge of the time. The possibility that some of this knowledge was applied in the realm of military technology presents a fascinating area of study. Furthermore, the description of battles in the Mahabharata particularly the use of devastating weapons that could cause widespread destruction, has led some to draw parallels with modern weapons of mass destruction. These parallels, while speculative, raise the possibility that ancient civilizations like Dwarka may have had access to, or at least conceptualized, highly destructive military technologies. The more we uncovered about the submerged city of Dwarka, the more the threads of history, mythology, archaeology, and science intertwined to form a rich tapestry that not only depicts the grandeur of an ancient civilization, but also challenges our understanding of the past. 
The exploration of Dwarka has been an odyssey that transcends mere discovery, offering profound insights into human history, technological advancements, and cultural evolution. Dwarka, as revealed through the meticulous work of archaeologists like Dr. Rao and through the lens of ancient texts, emerges as more than just a city. It stands as a testament to the sophisticated urban planning, architectural prowess, and technological innovations of a civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. The underwater ruins, with their intricate designs and advanced construction techniques, reflect a society that was not only advanced in terms of infrastructure, but also imbued with a rich cultural and spiritual essence. This convergence of myth and fact provides a unique perspective on the ancient world, where legends and folklore often contain kernels of truth rooted in historical events and societal achievements. Dwarka, therefore, is not merely an archaeological site. It is a key to unlocking the mysteries of our ancient heritage.